Uh, this is your last day to get a White House tour, unless President Obama relents and uh, stops insisting that uh, uh, sequester uh, uh, restraints on his uh, spending require the White House to cancel its tours. Now, the fact that the White House uh, has canceled tours, has not uh, relented this week, has got a lot of people uh, curious about uh, where savings could be found. Now, uh, we have two... Uh, Op-eds tackling this subject today in the Wall Street Journal, uh, one uh, from my colleague uh, Kim Strassel, another from Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn. And they're, they're basically uh, pointing out uh, ways where we might uh, find savings in the federal budget instead of uh, uh, going for these uh, uh, tour cancellations. Uh, really, uh, some interesting uh, things the government's been spending money on. Uh, we see uh, San Diego trolley dancing uh, getting a $10,000 grant uh, the uh, quail study, uh, this is one uh, Mr. Uh, Coburn is focused on. I believe that's the impact of cocaine use on quail. Uh, $500,000 for shampoo for pet research. Uh, 14.8 million going to millionaires getting unemployment benefits. Uh, $27 million, a program uh, that uh, features pottery classes in uh, Morocco. Uh, now, you, you look at all this and then you see that figure at the end, $468,000, that's what it would cost to uh, keep the tours going for six months. Now, we've, uh, I mentioned uh, these two op-eds that are on our site now have a lot of these uh, federal spending programs. Uh, we also now want to look at the White House itself. Now, uh, obviously they're saying uh, they can't afford the tours. The overall uh, executive office of the president budget, $600,000. 58 million dollars plus per year. Now, uh, in fairness, that includes a lot of offices, his uh, Office of Management and Budget, various basically staff that is not part of the uh, regular, the uh, separate federal departments and agencies, Defense Department, HUD, etc. So, so this is your, your overall White House figure. But within that, if you strip out uh, all of the staff uh, in the executive office, uh, you get to the White House residence, and this is an area where I think there might be some questions. Now, uh, we're looking specifically, I think we have another chart now, at the White House, these are the operating costs for the White House residence. It's basically, uh, it's been uh, going up and down, it kind of, uh, uh, from the Bush years, uh, rose modestly from 12.8 to $13.8 million, then after the Republican Congress came in, they've They've kind of ratcheted it back a little, but uh, uh, understanding 13 million in the context of the federal budget, not a huge number, but when you, when you realize what this does not cover, it's striking. For example, uh, transportation costs, Air Force One, all of that not part of this. Uh, um, other uh, elements that are not included are uh, uh, repairs to the White House itself, uh, state dinners, um, security. So, in other words, that $13 million is uh, just the operating expenses of the White House budget. Obviously, this is a, a, a family household along with being an official uh, residence, uh, but it's one that uh, doesn't uh, include a mortgage that, uh, uh, in which uh, most of the, what you would think of as the big expenses are, are covered in other budgets. So uh, $13 million on an operating budget for the residence, again, not counting security, transportation, overall structural repairs to the building. Uh, I think what you're gonna see, and people have talked about how there are calligra several calligraphers on staff. Uh, if this White House tour uh, cancellation continues, you're probably gonna see more questioning and a, and a demand for more transparency on what that, uh, that Obama residence budget is uh, funding every year. Obviously, it's not that far above where it was under Bush, but I think for, for all of them, uh, there, there's a question here on, on what exactly the uh, the uh, people need to be spending uh, millions on uh, inside the White House residence itself.